Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the next patch, the Ascending Tide DLC. I'm on my first stamina build with my stamina nightblade and I'm using Reliquan on the body. What else? The stronger single target set out there. One slime costil and one kilt. If you don't have access to mythic items, um, just use Kjarn as monster set. Then advance in Yukida front bar. Still best in slot. Slightly better than Kinras. And the back bar, the Milestone perfected the great sword. It's super powerful. It deals almost 14 or 15k stampede in combination with Mercer's Charge, the Milestone proc. Uh, alternative instead of the MSA, you could use Black Ops Prison Daggers. I did some tests and the results. Almost similar, 2 to 3 k less DPS, not a big deal, so it's up to you like always. Skills wise, Daddy Cloak, Killer's Blade, Surprise Attack or Spammable. Instead of Killer's Blade, you could even go with the Magicka Morph. Then Mercer Swiss off, the Magicka Morph is slightly better than the Stamina Morph. Running slashes, another extra dot here, and Incap as ultimate, back bar, stampede, and calf. Still calf and still worth it, even if they nerf the damage. The three stacks will not give you extra damage, they will just increase the duration. But if you prefer another uh, dot, you can use counters, for example, here, or even debilitate. Or even degeneration, but I had the best results with calf. Then barb trap for minor force, twisting path and dark shade, and incap just slotted for extra crit rate. Race I'm still done more, best in slot, followed by Khajiit. Mundus the thief for extra crit rate. What else? Lava food soup. In raids you could probably even sustain the green max stamina food, this one, but on the dummy I need lava food soup for the extra stamina region. At 2 points, 64 points in stamina, potions, just the normal, brutality potions with major brutality, savagery and stamina. Quick look on the CPs. Nothing special, Daddy Aim, Master at Arms, Taumaturge and Biting Aura. We don't need Backstabber or Fighting Finesse anymore. We are already at almost the crit damage cap. I think we are at 124%, so not worth it for only 1% crit damage. Red CPs depends on the rate, Bounty's Vitality, Fortified, Rejuvenation and Celerity. Let me show you one super powerful and useful tip for Stampede. As you know, Stampede has a really long and clunky animation. It's hard to bar swap afterwards. But there's one trick. You have to move forward meanwhile. So press W and then Stampede. As you can see, you can insta bar swap afterwards. Pretty easy to use. In raids, not sure if it's possible on dungeons, but on a dummy, really helpful. That's why I use those crates here on the sides, so I can just press auto walk. And if I use Stampede, I don't glitch out. But pretty useful. I get this idea from another YouTuber called Saligia. I will link her YouTube channel in the description below. Check it out. The rotation is same like previous patch. Keep up your dots, use surprise attack in between. As soon as your bow proc is up, try to empower it with incap and try to make sure that you don't reapply too many dots in this increased incap phase. Use this phase for the bow proc and surprise attack spam. Don't recast too many dots, I would say one to two dots only, otherwise it's a DPS loss. It's similar to the Warden off-balance phase with Cutting Dive. Keep up this rota until 25%, replace then Surprise Attack for Killer's Blade and drop Raining Slashes with Dark Shade completely. 
I know it's always hard to explain a dynamic rotation. If you have questions, type them down below, I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Now I will leave you with this pause, thanks for watching, have a nice day guys, and I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!